Hey guys, it's Stack here and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 20 video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you the best formation and custom tactics to run while playing squad battles. Now I know the game's just out, the game feels very different and to me so far the 4-3-2-1 or 4-3-3 feels very strong when attacking. Now it's up to you what kind of team you have, you don't have to run this team, this to me is just a cheap team I put together. My most expensive players in this is Perisic and Mababu, but other than that, they're all quite cheap. And basically, this is my team just to save my coins until I can afford a better player. Now, it doesn't matter what kind of team you have, it's just basically you want at least one fast attacker. Now, in that team, it's my Bellarabi. He's my, he's my pacey player, although Perisic isn't exactly slow but he is a lot slower when compared to him. But he does have the five star weak foot and then Poulsen is my striker. And I tell you what, you couldn't ask for a better striker for the same price. I do have a Williams, you can see on the bench there. And he does nowhere near as good as Poulsen. And he's, he, he Naki Williams is set at about 24K at the moment, I think. And Poulsen cost me about a thousand coins. So you don't really need to go all out pace in the team. You don't need to build a five star skiller team because on this FIFA, I feel like the AI, t they seem to stop you really easy. So as long as you've got three forwards that you can use, the defense doesn't really matter. I recommend getting two center backs that can head a ball. They don't need pace at all because the AI seem to cross it a lot, but the wing backs need to be fairly fast. Them are the only recommendations. So as you can see, I start off the game imbalanced and not much to change there at all i leave it all unbalanced i take it all down to four and then the corners and free kicks are on two because i don't want too many players pushing forward and the reason i have it so central is because when the ball's across the cross i need people in the box to be able to head it clear and get me out of danger so when i am desperate for a goal then i'll switch to the 4-1-2 attacking and as you can see there, the only thing I've really got difference is the fast build up on a fence style and then three players in the box instead of instead of the four. It doesn't make too much of a difference. If you've got no target man, then I'll probably push it up a bit more so that you might get the deflection. But if you've got a target man for me, it's Paulson. I'd just leave it on just that. You only really want him getting on it. So as you can see, the two strikers there as well are stay forward and getting behind. My Bellarabi is on free roam. My Mario Gertz are completely normal. And then my CDM and one of my other centre mids is stay back while attacking. And so is my left back and right back. And that's in the 4 1 2 1 2 when I'm trying to push for a goal. But then when I'm trying to hold the game out to uh, basically once I've got my five goals, I'll switch back to the 4 3 2 1 because I can defend a lot better in it. My all three forwards are getting behind and uh, stay forward. Mario Goetze, again, I leave completely neutral, don't change anything on him, as you see, nothing out of the ordinary. My left mid, right mid are both stay back while attacking, and then my left, um, my left back and my right back are also stay back while attacking. I don't want anyone attacking other than my three forwards, pretty much. Mario Goetze gets a lot of goals in squad battles because he does push up and he's sort of... Uh, he gets the deflections and he's just on the edge of the box or he'll be running in late. But that's fine, I kind of want that from him as he's, he is that kind of player for me. Whereas the three forwards are the ones that are going to be breaking through. And as you see there, you saw my fitness as well. Don't worry about your player's fitness on this FIFA. If you, are, if you have only just got the game today, there is... I don't know if it's a glitch at the moment or what, but player's fitness it does not relate in game so you'll see in you'll see in a moment once the game starts you'll see all my players fitness there they'll all be full green whereas when i'm out the game they're all solid 65 and orange so like i said this ai can actually be really predictable unlike the last fifa where i just seemed to concede goals from out of nowhere i couldn't stop the tackling i i couldn't get past them like they they would just play balls that you just can't defend against. I mean, look at that. That's 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 a ridiculous over the bot over the top ball to a player in space. But it's so easy because the AI tends to cut in a lot on this game. So which is why, as long as you have them pacey wing backs, you can keep up with their forwards when they play the through balls up the line. 
And then if they do beat you and they get the cross across, if you've got them tall centre backs, hopefully you should be able to deal with the cross as well. But as usual, once again on FIFA, if you dribble up the wing against the AI and do the Berber spin or the McGeady spin, you're going to beat the defenders most of the time. They do tend to uh, read a lot more skill moves on this FIFA, I feel. But they also make a lot of mistakes. And I mean, this isn't the hardest mode, the most insane mode. It's just one off. I think it's legendary. And I'm still easily getting my five goals. Every now and then I'll get into one game where I don't get my third goal until like the 60th minute. But I don't panic because I know that I'm going to be able to push for my five goals. It is really easy to do once you learn how to play against the AI. And it's literally just running up the wing and getting that ball across to your striker by cutting inside, smashing the ball across in a cross if he is ahead of the defender, or just taking your shot once you cut inside with your winger. But now I know the defending, a lot of people don't like it. This to me has been the best defending that has ever come out on this on a, on a FIFA. As everyone who used to rely on the AI has now suddenly forgot how to tackle. So to get through defenders, it's really easy. The only thing they have improved, I feel, is the interceptions. If the ball just goes past the player, I feel like they, they actually control it a lot more. Which is why if you're in a tight situation passing around the box... I wouldn't recommend just playing a ground pass, but the X pass isn't completely useless. If you double tap it, you will play like a little lofted pass. It, it, will, it won't go higher than waist, but it'll be about knee high. And when, the, when you're against like a Sergio Ramos, you can stick it like who's going to stick a leg out more. More probably you, you rely on him more to intercept it. You're more likely to get the ball past him just because it's slightly above his foot. And it is crucial in a lot of situations. Also here, make sure to check your stats once you've got your five goals. Because don't forget, there are other things to get your points in squad battles that you can work towards. So like here, you see me, I'm just trying to get uh, to 10 corners in a game. So the best way to do that is get your corner, hold your L2, R2, uh, L2, R2, and then just walk towards that defender while staying as close to the line as possible. And he'll kick it out and give you as many as possible. I didn't actually get the 10 corners, I didn't even get the possession in this game and I still got almost 2,700 points. If you can get that every single game, there's no reason you shouldn't end up in the top 100. I mean me, every now and then, yeah, I don't, I'll, I'll hit around the 2,300, which will, I usually get about 6 or 7 of them because, yeah, I'll end up playing against some horrendous team just like this one and these are the ones that I struggle most against and you'll see in this game Vinicius Jr scores an absolute banger against me and there's literally nothing I can do it comes from absolutely nowhere one thing you will notice is when I attack the 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 AI I do not go down the middle very often it's so hard to play the ball like with the interceptions now to actually get it you, you can use the one twos and play the through balls, but playing the tight passes through the middle, it's just so hard to work it and get space unless you're on the counter attack. So you'll always see me trying to push out wide, then cut my way into the box or just outside and lay it off for someone for that first time finish. As once again in FIFA, the first time finish is incredibly effective. But this, you don't need an incredibly overpowered team to beat the legendary it's it's just down to how you play i mean i was doing it with ryan frazier from bournemouth and he has been one of the best wingers i have used on this game he's played i love this perisic card but ryan frazier was twice as good of a player but just he's not specifically got amazing dribbling but i just get past every player with him he's not got fantastic shooting but every shot I do with him goes in. And then I've got the likes of Ousmane Dembele, who I cannot stand on this game and cannot score with. So yeah, this is this has been the easiest way to beat squad battles so far. And I've finally found my rhythm to actually jump into Legendary already and start comfortably getting the five goals. If you see me score more like now, I, I'm not trying to score more. I'm just trying to get my 10 shots on target. And then after that, I'll go for the uh, 10 corners and then I'll concentrate on getting 90% pass accuracy. 
and then I'll also while doing that I'll concentrate on getting the 60% possession but as you saw in the last game it's not necessary and I still got 2700 points almost so that's going to be it for this video guys I really hope you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if it helped you out and also make sure to subscribe if you're new I will be posting more FIFA 20 videos soon but for now I'm out.